Hello YouTube, it's Sai here from Saimoto Photo. Welcome back to the channel and thanks to everyone who's subscribed to the channel so far. Today is another Scotcher here in sunny Largs in Scotland and I've got the keys of this Trident 660. Now this is a bike that's really popular down at the shop. We've got lots of people ask for it every day, from novice riders to experienced riders, everyone seems to love a bit of Trident action. So I'm going to take this bike out today, we'll put it through its paces, we'll do a little road test, we'll tell you some of the spec that the bike's got, we'll tell you what the bike's going to cost you as well. And I'll, I'll, I'll try and figure out who this bike's actually for. So come on and join in the ride and we'll take this for a blast. So the Trident, what's it like to sit on? Really comfy, it's got a nice comfy seat. Again, same with the triple engine, you've got a, you know, you've got a nice narrow waist where your, your legs, the cross just fits right round the bike. You feel as if you've got really good purchase on the side of the bike. And the, the engine is a peachy, peachy engine. So you've got that triple cylinder, traditional triple cylinder firing order. You've got 80 brake horsepower, now you've got 61 newton meters of torque and it's in a really usable area the power on the bike it's really accessible it's really good fun and it's got plenty it's got plenty go it's got plenty drive you know one of the biggest things about this bike is that you know it, as, as it is with most Triumphs now, but the handling of the bike is superb, really, really superb. And the brakes are phenomenal on it. Not only do they really pull you up, but they've got great feel as well, great modulation. So, you know, you can feel what's going on with that brake lever. But just throwing it around these twisty corners, it's just lovely. So the Trident 660, really enjoying riding this actually. This inline triple 660 engine it's your traditional firing order that's in this engine and it's got 64 newton meters of torque which is really really nice actually and it's got 80 horsepower it's plenty for the road and it feels like a lively and exciting engine it spins up really quick and it's got the power and all the, the kind of usable area of the rev range for just zipping out of corners it just feels really really tight and really lovely to ride you know the Trident seems to be really popular with, you know, people who have not long passed their test or, you know, they've maybe moved for a, from a, a 125 or a 200, 250 or something like that, and they're, they're going on to, you know, their first at a big bike and, you know, this is a great option but it's not only for people that have just passed their test, you know, you, you could be an experienced biker and have great fun with this little bike too, it's such a versatile bike you know, there's, there's a better option out there with the Tiger Sport if you're going to go touring and you're going to, you know, you need a lot of luggage carrying space and stuff like that because at the end of the day, it is a naked, you know, you are going to get lots of wind blast on the bike but, you know, for a, for a bike that you're going to use on a Sunday afternoon, you're just going to go for a blast you know, you're going to do your local roads and back home and maybe the occasional maybe run maybe once a year then, you know, once, twice a year that's going to take you off the beaten track and maybe do, you know, a bit of, a bit of sort of touring but, but not too far away. You know, this could do the trick, it could do the trick. But the Tiger Sport is a more versatile option, giving you a very similar platform, but it's got some touring capability with it as well. But for out and out fun, you, you, you can't beat this bike, it's fantastic to ride, it's a real hoot to ride. You know, riding the bike today, I felt that there's that there's a little bit of vibes come through the bars about 70 miles an hour, but you know, it, it, it's it's absolutely minimal. It's not something that's going to phase you. The, 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 you. I don't see myself. I've been on the bike all day. I've maybe done two or three hours on the bike today, and I've certainly not got tingly fingers around like with the handlebars we're gripping onto them. There is a buzz. There is a slight buzz, but it's nothing to be concerned about. One thing that's really sort of um, impressed me today is these Nissan brakes that are on the bike. They've got really, really fantastic feel. You've got 
you know, great modulation through the lever and you can feel exactly what the brakes are doing. They bite really hard, but they've not got, they've not got a really grabby initial bite, if that makes sense. They're just, they've got a nice feel about them and they're, 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 they're cracking brakes overall. It's got a really good quality, you know, set of forks that's on the, the bike as well. You know, they're not adjustable, right? But they're well set up, as is the, the, the rear shock, which, you know, you can put a bit of preload adjustment into the rear shock to sort of tighten it up or, um, or loosen it off if you want to, you know, if you want to adjust it. You know, you can carry a passenger on this bike as well. It's got room for a passenger and you have got rear pegs. So, you know, you can sort of dial it in a wee bit more if you want a bit more support at the back. But what a hoot. I mean, look how it's put together. It's, it, it's high quality, really high quality looking bike. You know, there are other options out there in this market segment that you can get something that's, you know, you know, run about the same price, that's, you know, that's giving you a, 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 you know, a 600, 660, 700cc engine. But I would, I would question whether it's as good build quality as this. This is really, really well put together. And you've got some other features on the bike as well, you know, the bike's got traction control as well, just to keep you that wee bit more safe. There's a couple of riding modes that you can dial into it, you've got rain and you've got road. The rain mode will just sort of lessen the twitchiness of the throttle, not that it's twitchy, but it'll, it'll sort of make it a little dulled down, so that when you twist the throttle it's going to be a lot more forgiving, and the traction control will intervene a wee bit more just to keep you two wheels on the ground if you're in some adverse conditions. You know, the, the seat is a, the seat is a, a two-seater, so you've got this sculpted part for, the, part for the, the rider, and you've got this part for the passenger at the back, and it's really tidy at the back end here. And you've also got a set of pillion pegs, so if you want to carry someone on the bike, you can, there's, the, there's pegs there for them to stick their feet. The bike's coming on a set of Michelin Pilot Road 5 tyres and if, if for anybody that's watched the channel for any length of time uh, you'll know how sort of, how much I wax lyrical about these tyres, I just love these tyres they just seem to be the perfect tyre for, for you know, grip, performance, longevity uh, wet weather, they do it all and they're a fantastic tyre and you know anytime I've uh, bought a set of Pilot Roads they've lasted me for six, seven thousand miles easy so I think they're fantastic, they might be a wee bit more expensive to buy but I think they're great value for money and they certainly complement the handling in this bike It feels so comfortable to ride it's got quite a generous seat on it and it, it's similar to a few Triumph seats I've ridden recently where it's when you initially got on it you think oh this is quite firm but in actual fact once you've done a bit of time on it which I have done it's actually very, very comfortable, and, and that is often the case with a seat that's a little bit firmer. It comes into its own once you've done a few miles. When you get on a bike that's got a really plush, soft seat, you're pretty much guaranteed within an hour your backside's going to be numb, just because it doesn't have the support under you. But, what a fantastic bike. What a fantastic little bike. And what a fantastic view. Right, so let's see what the bike's like at a bit of speed. So that's us sitting at 70 miles an hour. And do you know what? It's absolutely fine. It's 70 miles an hour. It's 70 miles an hour. It's not too, it's not too noisy. You know, it has got quite a big front headlight and, and, and on the subject of headlights, the, the wee bike's got LEDs all round. You know, it's got a nice a daytime light on it that's really visible, makes you really visible. So, you know, that's a great thing. But it's also quite a big frontal, frontal area that's on the bike, you know, with this clock at the front and the big headlight. So it's having some effect of throwing the wind off me. But it's 70 miles an hour. You could sit on the bike for a couple of hours or so. But again, you know, if, you know, if, if touring is on your radar, when you get a bike and you're going to be doing lots of sort of multiple days away, spending lots of time doing lots of motorway miles on the bike, travelling, I don't know, European trips or something like that, you know, you're going to want to get something that's giving you a little bit more protection up front. But for everyone else, Trident, fantastic. You've got LED lights all around in the bike as well. You've got an LED headlight, you've got LED indicators uh, front and rear, and it, it just gives it a kind of more of a modern feel. 
you've got the typical Triumph howl off that, that triple engine and the exhaust is really quite neat, it's tucked in underneath the bike, there is a catalyst in there so I think you're going to be limited with what kind of end cans you can put on them, I know that down at the shop we sold one recently and it had a full uh, Scorpion uh, system on it and it did sound epic but I, I think you have to buy the full system, it's, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong with that but I think that you have to buy the full system as opposed to uh, just an end can for that bike because it's all one part of the same uh, same unit, the catalyst and the exhaust uh, headers. You've got a little truck computer built into the dashboard and it's it's not fussy, you know, you've got, you've got a big rev counter at the top which is really clear to see. You've got a little centre screen that gives you uh, information where you can look at what gear you're in and, and it'll give you the time. You've got a main menu set where you can get in, you can adjust, turn your traction control on or off uh, and various other bits and pieces. You can set your indicators to auto or manual, lots of different wee bits and pieces in the main menu. You've also got a trip computer, you've got a fuel status computer working out how many miles per gallon you've got and how, how much uh, range you've got left of the fuel that you've got and you've also got an engine temperature uh, an engine temperature gauge as well and then you've got the date and time and all the rest of it. But a really quite uncluttered quite cool minimalist dash that gives you all the information that you need. On the front of the bike you've got a set of 41mm short upside down forks. I've not felt that the bike's been under damped in any way. I'm a big unit, I'm 6 foot and I'm 18 stone. But I felt as if the suspension's done really well today. It, 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 it's, if anything it's a little bit firm but it, 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 it's well damped, it, it does well, it holds a line good, it turns in well and it's just it's got a nice feel about it. You know, on the back of the bike, you've got this, it's a Showa Monoshock on the back, and there's actually preload adjustment on it as well, so you can adjust the preload on the bike just to make it a bit more supportive if you need, a, if you've got a passenger in the back, for example. So you've got plenty, you've got plenty of adjustment in there with the rear shock, and you've got a single piston Nissan caliper on the rear, and a 180 section tyre, so the back end of the bike's really sorted. You've got plenty of grip, and you've got plenty of stopping power as well. That wee brake's plenty powerful enough, actually, for a back brake, but with the adjustable suspension just to dial that that rear tire in you can be quite confident about how the back end's gripping on the bike the bike's got a 14 litre fuel tank um, it'll be a really frugal engine actually uh, you know with that 660 I, certainly when I had the I had the Tiger Sport recently and I had it pretty much all day uh, and, and, and used a full tank of fuel and it was superb it was ab absolutely superb the fuel consumption on it was great um, it's also it's 189 kilograms as it's wet weight this bike then that in my book is a light bike it feels light it feels light to manoeuvre about feels light to move in and out of car parking space or in and out the garage 189 89 kilograms is just bang on the money for a little bike like this. You know, Triumph reckon this bike does 60 miles per gallon. Tell me in the comments, what do you think? Will it do 60 miles per gallon? Are you getting 60 miles per gallon? I don't know, I've not I've not calculated it, but uh, I've certainly, I've been on this bike pretty much all day today and I've used, I've got maybe two bars left of fuel in the bike, so um, it's done really well, so. The bike's got an 805 millimeter seat height. Now, as I say, I'm six foot, I'm six foot and I'm, I'm flat footed on the bike. My feet are flat and I've got a slight bend in my legs. I'm six foot and I don't really, I don't feel cramped in any way in this bike actually. It's, when you're sitting on the bike, these, these sort of inserts in the tank, your legs sit right in them. Because the bike's got such a narrow waist, it's just a nice place to sit. You know, I think in terms of value for money, <coughs> you know, this little trident, for the quality that you're getting, and the, you know, the quality of the components that are on the bike, and the performance you get out of it, 7995 for the base bike, it's, it, that's excellent value for money. Now that's, that's a black bike, it's like a, a sort of metallic black bike. There's different colour options available in it at this time, you know, this is um, June 2023 and at the time we've got a, a matte black with a white Triumph logo on the tank, you've got the silver, which is the one I'm on today, you've got a sort of metallic black, it's a plain metallic black with a little red trident badge on it and my favourite is the Baja orange it's like a matte orange colour and when the sun hits it it's like a you know it's like a pearlescent matte it's really really nice really smart and really suits the bike but overall I mean it's it, it's hard to beat in terms of value for money versus the you know the money you're paying versus the quality you get for it well the trident 660 Another day spanking about the, 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 the coast roads in Scotland with the sun splitting the skies. It just doesn't get any better. And what a fantastic bike to do it on. 
you know, I want to say a big massive thanks to the guys at West Coast Triumph in Glasgow. They're the guys that give me access to these bikes and, and the reason why I can do these reviews. You know, if there's anything out there that you want to see getting done, then, then drop it in the, the comment section and let us know what it is you'd like to see. You know, I've, I've got access to, to all the Triumph range, obviously, uh, but I've also got access to some Harley-Davidson bikes as well. And please, if you can consider liking the video and dropping a subscribe, I would hugely appreciate it. I'll leave up a couple of videos. Uh, I've got a video that I'm going to leave on a review that I've done last week on the Bonneville T120 and I'll leave up the Tiger 660 review as well for you to have a look at if anybody that's interested in, in either the Trident or the Tiger 660. But thanks again for tuning in to Sai Moto Photo. I hope you have a cracking week and I'll see you in the next video.